mornings good morning i am up and out early it's like 7 30 in the morning um oh i feel like it's my car crossed it let's see all it is anyway yes i'm up i am so blessed i feel good i feel real good today Of course, I'm like the bag lady. I need to buy me a big tote. You know what, when I sit down, cause I got my coach bag, but I don't know all that stuff, like wear and tear my bags down, so. But I feel good this morning, y'all. I'm headed to the coffee shop. I really got a taste for a hot chai. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna get. And then later on this afternoon, I mean a friend of mine, at another coffee shop that I've been looking at and she said she's been looking at too. It's like a mile away from this coffee shop. And that one looks really nice. I have to say Ann Arbor have a, some really nice uh, coffee shops. So that's, I'm like, you know what? I'm always at, I love Starbucks, don't get me wrong, but I'm always at Starbucks when Ann Arbor have like a coffee shop, <laughs> like everywhere. So, I'm trying to keep my car clean, y'all. I gotta go pick my stuff up off the cleaners. So I said, you know what, cut on my camera. Now, I supposed to be, uh, let me take this stuff to the dumpster. Ooh, sorry, y'all, real close. So I supposed to be dropping a vlog today. I'm gonna sit down and look at my content. I wasn't really feeling it, so I was like, do I really want to just drop some just to say I dropped another one <clears throat> on a Wednesday and the content is okay to me anyway? Or should I just keep going? And this vlog that I'm starting now, the goal is for it. Yeah, hold on. Well, you got a Shit, that didn't work. Anyway have this vlog up for Sunday and better quality. So I'm aiming for Sunday because I say I wanna do two vlogs a week. My mother said I need to be pushing three and I do agree with her. So, <laughs> you know, I know I'm gonna have to add that in on my planner in the next about two, three weeks. I'll try to aim for three a week. Um. I didn't show y'all my outfit, even though y'all gonna see it later, but I got on some black boots and y'all will see it a little bit later. But, um, let me sit y'all down. Let me sit y'all down. Anyway, <clears throat> wait for my car to be crossed. Where's my hand sanitizer? So yeah, today, I said I'm gonna stop saying what I'm gonna do because my days, I really don't know what I'm going to do, but I do know I need to um, pick up stuff from the cleaners. That's a must. It's definitely time to pick them up. That's what I do know. But my, my life is not planned, which is sometimes great. That's maybe why I'm not like a person that plans and that's why I'm headed to this coffee shop this morning to do me a digital planner. And then I'm going to stop either at Target somewhere throughout today and buy me a, a planner because you have to write, write the vision and make it plain, right? But I do want to do a digital one as well so it can come up with my computer and my phone since I'm always on those two devices. You know, it's like a reminder for me but also to write it down because the more you write something it manifests itself so that's what I'm about to do so I will see y'all as soon as I get to this coffee shop which is the drip house so far so far I think this is like became one of my favorites I love aesthetically it is so beautiful I love the black and white the coffee tastes really really good the prices is very very good for the big cups and stuff I get, it, it'd be like $3. It's, it's really good. Y'all know that you could never do that at Starbucks. Um, 
the people that work in there, like, I only been there like three times, but they be remembering me, and it's so, I love a place like that. Make me feel like I'm the most important person in here, you know? <laughs> so, I really like that. So, I will see y'all uh, as soon as I get there and get set up. Okay, y'all, I just made it here. If you're a vlogger, then you know that we have a lot of damn bags. Like, we, you, you know that. So, I'm gonna have to sit down and find me like a nice big tote that can fit everything because I feel like I'm, I forget something all the time. Like, I forgot my clicker. You bound to forget something. But once I get settled in here, Hopefully my computer already charged and I'll hit you up.
so I just left out the coffee shop about five minutes ago. Oh my God, did y'all see me make a mess? I'm gonna keep it in there. <laughs> like, that'd be my biggest fear. So I'm so glad y'all I had on all black because I would have had chai latte all over me for the whole day because I wasn't going home to change. So I'm glad I wore black and leather. You could wipe, easily wipe off. However, I'm in this shopping center right here, like about five minutes from um, the coffee shop. And my mother's been talking about a watch. She really wants a watch. She said a JBW. I think a lot of influencers like Kyra and um, Chelsea. I think a lot of people have them. They're pretty. They're very pretty. But you know me, I'm always different. Like I've never been one. I'll either be... I'm either going to be late to the party or I've already started my own party. That's just me. Like, I don't do what everybody do, clearly, as y'all can see. I, I, I be on my own time, but I've always been like that. Don't, that doesn't have nothing to do with just YouTube or social media. I just, my mind is just like that. I'm so like, I do what I feel like I want to do at that time. Anyway, it's a Kendra Scott store right here in this plaza. And I know it's a jewelry store, so I don't know if they got watches. I thought that they would be open by now, but I got another hour. So I'm going to go probably to the gas station and do a little stuff like that. And to the bank to kill a little time. But I'm going to go look in there to see do they have watches and see. You know, I want to give my mother a watch. Because she's been talking about it since like, right, like a few months before her birthday. And it just hasn't happened yet me and my sister was gonna go in and get her a nice watch but my sister had a baby it's just a lot of stuff so you know life happens but i haven't forgot you know you know how something be on your head and you haven't forgot about it so it's like i need to go ahead and just start pricing and looking around for her a nice watch because she deserves it she really do she deserves to have a nice watch but let me show you the story speed yep yeah, so i'm gonna go in there when they open up and just because like i said i've never been in kendra sky i know it's a jewelry store i've never been in there so um all my jewelry is fake <laughs> so i'm gonna go in there and see do they even have watches just to see their quality of their things so yeah but they're closed right now i got another hour so like i said i'm about to go run a few errands real quick and come back hey y'all i am back like Today is going to be an excellent day because I have already claimed it. The sun is out. It's not that cold. And listen, y'all, I just left out my bank. And y'all know what I'm talking about. That feeling when... What is this? Oh, my blanket. That feeling when you find... You go in your bank and your teller tell you what's in your account and it's more than what you thought it was going to be after you pay your bills. Oh. That fucking feeling is amazing. I don't care. Like that's that's one of the best. That's better than good sex to me. Yeah, definitely. Like after I already paid my bills and I'm thinking it's a certain amount. I don't care if it's thirty extra dollars, y'all, than what I thought I had. That is, huh? I'm like, yes. Today is gonna be a good day. Today is gonna be an excellent day. So I'm about to run in Nordstrom real quick and look on that clearance rack. This Nordstrom rack, like I said, Nordstrom rack is uh, closer to me. I'm about to run and see what's on that clearance rack. I'm looking for like, I'm looking at blouses. I'm not looking for, but I'm looking at like nice quality shirts, like blouses, because you can put that with anything. So I'm about to go look in there because I got it like 20 minutes before I meet my friend at the, uh, meet up with my friend at the coffee shop so i'm like it's right here let me just run in and see what's on that clearance rack and make sure i got my own card with me another thing i need to stop changing purses so much okay yep let's go i might vlog a little bit while i'm in here we'll see let's go i'm not filming you you know, I like to tell people. <laughs> I ain't gonna film you. I wouldn't do that. You know, I love that red. <laughs>
I just left out of Nordstrom. The music was blasting per usual there. Um, they had some great sales. They had this beautiful blouse. It was cream. Even though I prefer some, I'm looking for some white, white, but it was cream. The texture was so beautiful. I would have got it because it retailed at like $3.99. But you know, Nordstrom Rack, they keep slicing the prices down. And um, it was $59.99, but it was in an extra small. So then I went on the other side and I was like, oh, I see it again in a bigger size. And it was a 2XL, too big. I was looking, I probably could have did a medium. I probably would have even got a large if they had a large because you could do more with the blouse, like tuck it and tie it. But they didn't have it, so I was like, oh. So all I got out of there is uh, some ice, uh, ice cube tray because I am definitely going to start <laughs> making myself a lot of smoothies. And I do love iced coffee. And I'm like, you know what, Brie? You spend a lot of money on coffee. I really do. Like, damn near $10 a day. Sometimes more. So, that's a lot. So, at least twice out the week, I can um, definitely make my own coffee. Especially iced coffee. So I said, let me give me, let me show you. And I like this because dishwasher safe. And it's easy. You know, like when you, the ice trays and it's hard to pop. I know for me, and I be popping, then the ice cubes pop. I like these because you can just, it's soft. It pops, it's easy access to get your ice cube out. So that was only $10. So I just got that out of there. They had a lot of uh, Christmas candles, but I didn't. I didn't really care for none of them, so I didn't get no more candles. That's that's all I did in there. That's all I did. Listen, public service announcement. I don't celebrate Christmas. That's not something I, I'm really into. Um, I grew up Muslim, so we didn't celebrate it. And now that I'm a grown woman, you know certain things. I'm just not wavering on, I guess, you know. When you get older, you always, you can make your own decisions. But that's just something that I'm not wavering on. Like pork. I'm not wavering. Like, oh, I'm about to eat me a pork chop now. I'm like, no. So, don't be, a, especially if you're an adult. Don't be asking me what I'm getting you for Christmas. Not a goddamn thing, okay? I don't even celebrate Christmas, number one. And you shouldn't, people that know me, if you feel comfortable enough to ask me what I'm getting you for Christmas, you should know that about me, that I don't celebrate Christmas. But let's just say I was feeling festive because it's, I don't think there's nothing wrong with giving gifts. Especially when you are aware, you in tune, you know why you're doing it. I'm not getting no damn grown adult. No, I'm not going to call it a Christmas gift. If I want to gift you something, I can do it today. I can do it the day after Christmas. I can do it anytime. But don't be expecting nothing. You shouldn't do that anyway. Even if you are so into Christmas, don't expect you a grown ass adult. You're not a child. Another grown person to buy you nothing for Christmas. That's just my take on it. I don't know. But, yes, I'm about to pull um, pull up on my friend. And we're about to... I probably just want another chai latte or something. I don't even think I want coffee at this time. But who knows? I've never been to this coffee shop. So, we're about to see. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all. I literally just pulled up. I don't even think she's here yet. But I just pulled up. Whew. The name of this place is called Black Diesel Coffee. Um, yeah, so I'm, I may vlog a little bit, but we're going to be talking, you know. Because she does have a YouTube channel, so, you know. I may vlog a little bit. We'll see. I'm going to take y'all along with me. But uh, let me go in there. It look all extra fancy and stuff. So let me get in here and make sure we got a seat. Come on.
everyone, it's Beth Yimmer, and uh, today I am here having coffee with my girl Priyanka. So she made me look at her. She's looking good. She looked like she belonged in Texas. Uh, we are just having coffee here. It's both of, like, both, both of us, it's our first time here at Diesel Coffee, Black Diesel Coffee. And uh, she just told me, it's, we were talking, it's our first time hanging out, and she told me to tell you guys to subscribe to my channel. It's Bethlehem Yimmer on YouTube, and you will find it's going to be the first thing that helps off Bethlehem like the city. Subscribe to my channel, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys have a great YouTuber over here. So, yeah. <laughs> So I just got finished about 30 minutes ago at um, the coffee shop with my friend Beth. She is such a sweetheart. Like her spirit is just, it's just, she's such a sweetheart. It's just, it's so much I can say. But um, we didn't vlog too much because we were talking, you know, it was just learning each other because we just really met. Literally, this was our first outing together. So I didn't want to spend time just vlogging with the camera just sitting up. But um, right now I'm about to go into... Whole Foods to get something to cook. I am going to make an Alfredo. I love Alfredo. Pasta is my kryptonite. <laughs> I love Alfredo. So I'm about to go in and get a few things that I need. I'm not really going to vlog too much in there because I want to be in and out and get on home and get relaxed. And um, yeah, so... I'll see y'all a little bit later once I get in the house and about to cook. I might vlog a little bit while I'm cooking. I don't know. I'll see how I'm feeling. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Yeah, I just got home. So this is what I got out of there. The broccoli, turkey bacon. I never had this, so I tried it. Pepper. I love pepper. I love turkey bacon. Some noodles. I love grits. My favorite grits. I got uh, some heavy cream, some half and half, some cheese. All of this is for the um, dinner tonight, not this. All of this is for the dinner tonight. Oh, and then I got cold brew coffee. I love the vanilla flavor. It was about $33 for all of this, but that's not bad in Whole Foods. So I'm about to uh, get comfortable and start cooking. I am not going to vlog while, I cook, while I'm cooking because I'm trying to get it done. But let it be good. Be in my zone. But I will show y'all first bite. Hey, y'all. I am back. I am dressed comfortable. Yes, I'm all comfortable. But this is what I just made. Broccoli um, Alfredo. Homemade Alfredo. And I don't even really care for tomatoes. But I did put a few on top. And I made some garlic bread out of this brioche bread that I have. So I'm about to munch on this. Oh, the plate hot. I'm about to munch on this. It looks very healthy. Let me see. I'll take the first. It was hot. The first bite. And I love broccoli in my Alfredo. Mm. Good. So I'm about to munch on this and I may get back on here. I'm sure I'll get back on here before I go to bed. Mm. Mm. <sighs> yes, I am back. As y'all can see, I'm very comfortable. I took my wig off. Um, that noise is my dishwasher going. Cause I'm about to get in the bed. But uh, dinner was good. It was really good. Tasted really healthy. <laughs> it was no meat. I was gonna get some salmon, but when I was in there, all they had was farm raised. I don't eat farm raised salmon. I like wild caught. So I said, you know what? Veggie Alfredo it is. So right now, I made me some homemade hot chocolate. It's so good. Mm. I had a couple of pieces of Hershey's. 
I put in some half and half. Very, very good and rich. I had a sweet tooth, so I'm like, this gotta do. So I am about to um finish editing editing. I'm trying to make some business cards. So I'm trying to get the exact right fit. So I'll have that all done hopefully by tonight and then I'll show y'all my finish probably tomorrow. But yeah, I'm about to just close out this vlog for tonight. And I will see you guys in the morning tomorrow. <sighs> the goal is for me to go take my butt to the gym. I have not been to the gym all week. <sighs> I've been, oh my goodness, it's, it's no excuse. It's no excuse. So I'm going to go work out in the morning. And after that, like I say, I don't like to say what I'm going to do because my life is so not planned. Oh, earlier today, I downloaded... I downloaded a new um, digital planner. So I'm still trying to get the logistics of it down packed. So hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be able to put my first <laughs> plan thing in there and I will show you guys tomorrow. So yeah, I'm about to finish my hot chocolate. Let the dishwasher go. Probably vacuum a little bit and then call it a night. So yes, thank you guys. If you have got this far into the video, thank you, please stop subscribe if you're not a subscriber please that'll just help me out tremendously because that'll let me know that y'all feeling your girl and that'll just give me the boost and the confidence i need to just keep on going so just let me know but until then i will see you guys tomorrow blessings good morning good morning today is november 11th thursday yeah today is thursday i can't believe it's already thursday but it's 11 11 those are my favorite numbers like 29 is my mother's favorite number because I was born on the 29th. My sister was born on the 29th. My grandmother was born on the 29th. And it just worked perfectly because 2 plus 9 is 11. And so 11 is just that completion number for me. It's a very spiritual number for me. That's what I believe. So today is going to be a very spiritual day for me. It's a day for me to uncloud unclog and get unclouded in my mind you know sometimes we live in our head but right now it's like only 7 15 in the morning I'm about to throw a load of laundry in because i have to clean my bedroom up when i get back today this afternoon i bring y'all a little closer so yeah i'm about to put some uh, laundry in real quick but i'm doing good this morning i've been up for like 20 minutes, drunk a bottle of water already. I pray all is well this morning. Clean up my 
bathroom really quick. I'm gonna be leaving on the next like hour and a half. So let's go because it's about to get loud up in here. So y'all about to see me clean up a tad bit while the laundry is going. So I got like a good half an hour before I really need to start just preparing myself to leave. So I'm gonna tidy up some things in the house so I don't have to do this later. So of course, I'm going to speed it up a little bit around this time because I don't want to bore y'all to death. And just, it's only going to be a good 15 minute cleanup. It's not dirty, but just want to tidy up some things. So, yeah. Let's do this. I am back y'all, as you can see, I didn't got the kitchen together. I cleaned out a lot of cabinets. I did, let me show y'all, y'all can see. Top of the refrigerator. I still didn't tackle up there yet, but cause I don't have time to do all that. But the main goal was to get the pots and pans in the dishwasher, clean off the cabinets. And yeah, clean out the refrigerator, which I did. So now I'm about to vacuum, wipe down my bathroom and get dressed.
So before I go get dressed, let me show you. The house is clean. I'm only showing you parts of the house, of course. Can't show you everything. But it's all clean. It smells so good. All of that is trash. I'm just taking right on out. Yep. paint that watch that's gonna be another project but I cleaned the kitchen everything is all clean right now I am finally about to head out but this is what I'm wearing today my jean boots I'm loving hats right now yeah this is the look <laughs> Now I'm officially about to head out. And I'm driving my mom's car because I don't have time to go get gas. <laughs> Story of my life. Hey y'all, I'm here at the coffee shop, my new favorite coffee shop. The drip house, of course, the one that y'all be seeing me sitting in. But yesterday I went to another one too to meet my friend Beth. Um, it was called Black Diesel. And I still have to say I like this one better. Black Diesel, they coffee is very, very strong. It was, I think it was a tad bit cheaper than the drip house, but I don't know, just sitting in there, it seemed more it was a lot more college. Oh, these glasses I need to clean off. It was a lot, it was, it's closer to where a lot of college students live. So I guess that's the vibe it was trying to go for a college life. And your girl is not in college anymore. <laughs> so I like this one. It was more like, this one is more grown and sexy, more calm. I don't know. The music is more jazzy, silly. It's more my vibe. So I'm about to run in here. I don't even know what I'm getting. Am I going to get a chai latte? Am I going to get an Americano? I'm not sure. I might get a chai though. I've been craving a lot of chai lately, so I think that's what I'm going to have. I'm not going to um sit in here today. Um because once I get that, I'm running over to my client house, do some paperwork, do some medicine counts for them, and then I want to run into Kendra Scott because I didn't never get a chance to go back there yesterday. And um I just want to see. I was looking online. I didn't see watches, but I still want to see because I really want to get my mother something. So by the time you see this, mom, you're going to have something from me. <laughs> so let me go hurry up and get my um, drink. Oh, it feels so good out here today. Y'all, it's 11-11 and Rod Wave is the move. That's what I was listening to on my way here. So let me go up in here. Just got back in the car i got a small chai let me focus camera focus i got a small chai with whipped cream on top so good me and chai lately i'm in love i know i should have got a large but smaller do. all right so let me hit so i'll be back on camera probably in the next like two hours or something probably at Kendra Scott then that's probably gonna be because that's around the area I'm gonna be in so I'm sure that's gonna be my like next first stop after taking care of my business with my client and I'm not gonna take y'all in with me because I hit button you know take off the hat and put on my medical hat <laughs> so yes let's go I am draggy mm. you know something good you keep putting it down but you pick it right back up in less than 30 seconds yeah, that's me. Okay, let's go. Finally made it. Give my mom her gift. I'm so happy, y'all. I love you, mommy. Mom, look what I got for you. She's pulling it.
I just got home. I don't have the best lighting right now, but I'm about to give it to her. Are you ready? Yeah, who is that? Who it's, is it's me. I'm talking to my vlog. No, it's, I got it on me. Go sit down on the couch. No, let's um, sit in front of you. <laughs> oh, it is dark. I think you slide it. Slide the. Shake my slide. Oh, no, you don't. You... Oh, look, I don't know. I never had a gift from there. Okay. Oh, I love a dust bag. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I went in there looking for you a watch. They don't have watches. I love it. I love it. They said you wanted. I was trying to think besides a watch because they didn't have a watch. Look at that. It is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm just getting back on here. I think the last time I was on here, I showed a little clip of my mother opening up her gift. She was so happy. Like, oh my God. We went back up to the store. <laughs> She was just so excited and emotional, so that was good for me. But uh, I just got out the shower. I just washed my hair. Y'all, my hair is growing. Like, it can fit in two ponytails now. But I am about to eat some leftovers, some um, pasta from yesterday. Oh, let me show you. When I was out today, the lighting is not so good, but whatever. I stopped at a J. Alexander. I stopped at J. Alexander and they got like the best characters ever. And I got, look at this one slice, how huge it is. <laughs> it's fire. So I am going to, after my leftovers, I'm going to munch on a little of that cake. Look, the water's still running down. And call it a night. And yeah, y'all will see me in the morning. So blessings. And if you made it this far to the, into the video, thank you. And keep watching. And make sure you are subscribed. And if you are already subscribed, tell one person. You know, help a sister out. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Blessings. Good morning. Literally, I just got out the door about 10 minutes ago. I'm right here at this expensive ass gas station, y'all. Cause yesterday I told y'all like I drove my mother's car because I didn't have time to go get gas. So I stayed in her car all day. So I forgot and I had two miles. So I had to come to the expensive gas station right here, but I only put $10 in because let me show y'all how expensive it is. And I know where I'm going, it's like 329, which is pricey, but let me show y'all. You see that price? That's 350, what? My car already take like $55 to fill up. So I'm gonna put a few dollars in here to make it across town. Yeah, anyway, so the gas is hella expensive right here in Ann Arbor at the Speedway. Well, let me tell you, uh, I was just in there. I went inside to, you know, put my little $10 on my tank. And but you know how if you go to Speedway, they be like, do you have a speedway rewards card or something and i said no and before i can say that's okay i don't want it he just threw it in he scanned it and threw it in my hand that's how i'm about to do my business cards when i'm passing out my business cards for my social media platform my youtube channel that's how i'm about to do like uh, you got here you go he didn't give me a chance to say no but that's good business he was like i gotta get rid of these cards so <laughs> that was just funny how he did it but i am about to head 
to my client's house and then after that I don't really have much planned today I'm um yeah my dad is coming in town today that's really it I don't have nothing planned today is Friday I don't have nothing planned like I said which is good see that only gave me 50 miles but that's plenty to get on the other side of town okay y'all so I will see y'all in a bit probably in a few hours yep I'll be back blessings good morning I literally just started a whole new vlog and I was editing this vlog and I was like wait I didn't close it out I think the last time I was leaving the gas station or something that was like the last scene but I just wanted to tell you guys that thank you so much for subscribing to my channel for even watching my videos I know I don't have a huge following on platforms as of right now but for you guys to give me a shot and take a chance on me that is just so beautiful you know we all have to start from somewhere and I'm like a baby in this so I just want to say thank you so very much I literally just woke up just washed my face about to go grab some coffee and come make breakfast for my family and I'm already starting a new vlog and I'm like wait I didn't end my old one so I just want to say thank you all just keep liking, comment, and subscribing to my channel, and I am going to continuously put out content. And each time I put out content, my own personal goal is growth. I want to see the growth in my videos along the way. I don't just want to hurry up and rush and put something out. That's why I didn't put nothing out um, this past Friday, because the content that I had, had got, I wasn't too sure about it. So I'm still tweaking it and going to probably add to it. But I just don't want to throw anything out because I want to see my own personal journey in this. I want to look up this time next year and be like, wow, I was at that point or I was vlogging like that. That was my style or whatever. So I just want my own personal growth. So anybody that's rocking with me from day one, y'all just don't understand the magnitude of how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So I am about to close out this vlog and <laughs> the next scene, you'll probably see me looking just like this because I already started my new vlog. And yeah, thank you all. Listen, y'all was so heavy on my mind. As soon as I woke up, I'm like, let me wash my face and brush my teeth and get on here and talk to my people like I y'all are becoming part of my family i don't have a name yet for you guys but i'm getting comfortable to talk to my camera and just to talk to you guys so thank you so much and i'm going to take y'all it's going to be some experiences that i'm going through for the first time that i'm taking y'all along so like i said always make sure you subscribe and push the notification bell because i have noticed that some people that i know that subscribe like did you put out a new video and they don't have a notification bell. So that notification bell, push it and that'll let you know anytime I drop anything, whether it's a short, whether it's an inspirational or a vlog, push the notification bell and that will keep you in tune with me every time I'm dropping. I'm dropping two videos a week. In a few weeks, I'll announce when I'm going to be starting dropping three videos, but I want you guys to stay in tune so you don't miss a beat, okay? And go make sure you show me love on Instagram, being Brianca. Start following me. I, I always got a story up every single day. I'm trying to get better at putting two reels up a week as well. So, yes, go follow me. Show me some love. And I love constructive criticism. It's nothing like it because that's the only way we can grow. That's the only way I can grow. Y'all let me know what y'all want to see from me. And if I can do it, I'm definitely going to do it. So, <laughs> listen, y'all, I just burped. But anyway, bless you all. Thank you. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next vlog.